LOV low is actually the list of values k. The one way of measuring it was as we saw AIO savings. Other one is to ask everybody to list what are the dominant values in you. Ask them or give them a set of values and ask them to rate how high do you figure it is. You may also corroborate it by asking somebody that the respondent is familiar with. Ask that person to rate and take a, a compound measure of both as the personality of the person. There are nine dimensions as well as list of variables, a list of values as well. So sense of belonging, which means how social is the person. Self uh, being well respected, is he looked upon by the peer group, is he looked upon what is the uh, uh, width of the respect. In other words, is he respected only in a small group or is he eminent enough to be uh, respected by a wider group? Security. You now, security doesn't mean having a guard, it means how secure is the person or how insecure is the person in his relationship, in his uh, uh, behavior with others. Does he have enjoyment? Does he enjoy enjoyment of fun? And uh, does he have warm relationship? Is he a warm person? Or is he like largely uh, to the point, cold kind of a person? Self fulfillment, excitement, sense of accomplishment, and self respect. That are the nine dimensions of the LOP. Vals uses what I was talking to you earlier. <coughs> you displayed the Sunday of Maslow's I like your names here. <coughs> Originally, Vals was not developed to cater to the needs of the industry, but as a general study which looked at the American population. It was done at the turn of the 80s, primarily because 70s was a uh, uh, decade of great deal of turbulence in the American society. Uh, hippies were there, Vietnam had finished during the decade, and uh, Watergate was another big incident which shook the confidence of the country in the 70s. So there was a lot of social turbulence <coughs> led people to believe that it has an impact on the psychographics of the people, just as liberalization in India made a huge deal of difference to the way people looked at things. So it was done at that time, and thereafter VAS2 was developed specifically to look at the, the purchase behavior. So it tries to identify specific relationship, how the consumer attitudes influence the product purchase. <coughs> Do people having a certain kind of attitude actually buy or not buy, or buy large quantities versus buy small quantities, is it possible? Perhaps this is three kinds of motivation you know, of identity uh, orientation. One is principle or idealist. Depends on how much of idealism or how principle oriented the person is. Status oriented, how much is the person's status out oriented and thirdly action oriented. These are weighed against the resources that a person may have and the resources may be financial, it may be psychological or material. <coughs> the difference between financial and material is material is something that you may in the balance concept, otherwise it's actually uh, liquid money. Uh, based on this, perhaps to actually classify <coughs> people into uh, seven categories. Okay. Well, before we get into that, let's revisit the masculine side up. So at the lowest level, we have a physiological, as you will rightly say, which are basic needs. So products that we are talking about are medicine, health, food, and Typical advertising campaigns talk about how this particular thing 
uh, with strong bodies. Can you mention some of the other uh, products which we found which came to the, the basic needs? What is that? Sorry? Is shelter safety or the basic needs? Safety. I can see that you are all very quiet people. One of the basic needs is also sex. Which is, think of what the animals actually want. They want food. Good creation is another one. So, uh, there are products which are related to that, for instance, uh, which are all basic needs. Safety, the next level. Think of some other, other product categories than this. Safety does not mean security. Also, that's it. Ah. Uh, it ensures physical safety, comfort, stability, uh, also known as hygiene factors. So, security is actually a, a safety factor. Anything else? Sorry? Why are we getting part of the safety here? It is something which is not related to the safety angle, the security, job security. <coughs> in a product, like insurance retirement, smoke detector, the eye pill, the eye pill, what you build on the physiological, the content, the eye pill, all this. Ah, correct. And the seat belt. Yeah, seat belt is another example. Coil extinguishers. How about a mattress? Safety, therefore you are thinking of threat and it can have comfort. Sometimes it adds your comfort. Ah. So safety does not mean the colloquial safety. Colloquial parlance with whatever you mean by safety, that's not the only connotation here. Right? Next is the belonging needs, so the social needs. So you're talking about friendship, group effect, uh, acceptance, romance, respect, and so on and so forth. Other than this, what else can you think about? Which are the products which, you, uh, which can be used as well as greetings, gifts? Greeting cards, yes. Gifts. Greetings per se is not a product. Greeting cards is a product. Gifts, gift items. Gift items. Anything else? Doctor? Oh, that's an interesting thing. Is soft drink and alcohol a, a, a social thing or is it a, a safety thing? Social thing. Is it a social thing? Yes. Social there are some people who say that it's actually a comforting thing, it's a stabilizing thing. Can come in both. So what it also tells you is that the hierarchy is not necessarily watertight. There are products which can straddle more than one uh, one strata, and it's not necessary that it can straddle only adjacent strata. Sometimes it may be that an extreme may be satisfied to go with the safety team. Can actually yeah. be something with uh, satisfying 
Okay. Invisible. It's visible. Text savvy. Anything else? Curious. Curious. Okay. Sophisticated. Stylish and sophisticated. Any more additions? Sophisticated. That's why they started. Let's take a bit of time. Let's take a bit of time. Let's take a bit of time. The truth is, actually, Apple did not do any research on this. Didn't go to the consumers at all. Apple's philosophy is quite different. Apple believes that the consumer doesn't know anything. You give it to him, they see it, they like it. Apple also believes that they didn't do this or that product. That's why they have to produce it. Okay. I'd actually buy it, but it doesn't really work out for him because he doesn't 